Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is my video on how to construct a elevator using Googlecraft, Computercraft, and Red Logic. Oh, the elevator is not here. Let's call it. Ah, that'll be a work. Let's go to the second floor. It only goes up one floor at a time. And when it gets to the fourth floor, if you press it up higher, it won't go any higher. Even though I don't have that program in there. Oh yeah, because there's no redstone at this point, it won't send a single down. No redstone. That's one way around that problem. I can go down, but can't go up. On the other hand, on the first floor, there is No redstone on the down. This is one method of preventing the computer from going below trying to do something you don't want it to do. Anyway, this is the main computer. It's currently running. And it gives a little message saying what it has done. Above here is Ooglecraft, the lock mover. Above that is this, the computer to operate this lock. That actually, that button right there is controlled by this computer. All wireless. Let's go to the second floor. Okay. This computer right here with this uh, buffer gate will control this block right here that uh, the core block. And if the computer down there makes a call to this, it actually sends a message F1. In here, is, there's a statement that says, well, F1. Uh, I'm on floor two, so don't push the other up. Otherwise, push the elevator up if it's F2. That's the code I use. F1, F2, F3, F4. Okay. On the other hand, this computer right here that controls this is, uh, it expects an F3 or F4. Uh, F2, F3, or an F3 command before it powers it, this up. On the other hand, this one right here is only po powers this up with an F4 command. If it receives an F4, not F3, F2, or F1. It'll power that block up. I made a network on the call, all the calls. I made it so that the 
this computer makes a call to the main computer down there and if it hasn't received a acknowledgement from the main computer it will resend the message back down calling for the elevator no matter what floor you're on I in order to get the right floor this one sends down the single C4 This one here sends the message C3. This one on the other hand sends the message C2. And, and finally, and somehow the elevator was on top floor or whatever floor, this one sends the message C1. Recall. <laughs> the computer right here well, it interpreted basically what it does is that it checks for this or a call. And if there's no calls, it continues going that inner loop, which I'll be showing you later. And, uh, it would be continue going until there's a call. This is basically the actual Minecraft part. Building it up was easy per. Programming it was a lot harder. This is the source code for my uh, my file. The main computer. It opens up on top the wireless network. It sets floor to one and it sets job to false. Okay. Oops. Okay. I should go into an infinite loop here. And while job is equal to false, I would check to see if there's something to do. If the job was an up request, I implement the floor by one. Print out elevator up. On the other hand, if the check down somehow becomes true, uh, the elevator would decrease, floor number would decrease by one. I'm hoping that you got this part, okay. Now, if, if the call is called from either one of the four elevator calls, it would uh, send. It would send an acknowledgement to the uh, the call bank to say that I received it. If all to that, it receives one little signal, and then. It would make a commitment broadcast to all four el uh, the three elevator button the uh, lifters computers to that what floor to send the elevator to floor one floor two floor three and four floor. Computer, uh, floor call computer one. This is it. Nothing 
that complicated, just if there's a redstone from the switch. Since then, send the signal to computer 6, which is main computer, and wait for acknowledgement. If it didn't get the acknowledgement, resend the, the signal again till it gets it. Same thing with call number 2, but it sends C2. That's this message. And wait for a like of the message. Same for C3. And C4. To move the elevator itself requires just a simple thing. It receives a message from the main computer. And bec my computer, main computer is number 6. So I put sender 6. And to verify, should I have this elevator block activated, I make sure that the message is F2, F3, or F4. And that the last message isn't the. the the last message isn't already been progress. Else, if it's because this is the first, this is on the second floor. If if F one, the message is, I would turn the moving block off, so they'll send it down. This one is the exact same idea as the first one except for you're only testing for floor 3 and floor 4 to make this block true. Otherwise you are testing for floor 1 and floor 2 and you want to make it false. Because you don't want to push your own second floor. You're on third floor and you want knowledge for those for third and fourth floor. On the other hand, if it's on the floor, if I'm on the fourth floor, right, then the only way that this, I should push it up to the fourth floor, the elevator, is an F4, because I want it on the fourth floor. Otherwise, I don't want on the floor floor, so that button, that elevator box would be, a slider box would be closed. False. Okay. With all that coding and simple displacement of the blocks, That right there is just red, red, red logic, so I'd be able to make a call to any floor. Oh. One thing I for almost forgot. To make the door... make the door... this open up and close... I have... Because currently they're closed. In order to get those doors to open,
you need to do the following, which isn't really complicated. That's just a that right there is a red torque. When it comes in contact with this part right there, it usually lands right about here. It powers this block, this wire. It goes right on it and it powers these two doors. That's just is stone copper. So it makes it look good coming up the wire. Uh, this project can be ascended to as long as the Y5 wireless network if range is. But you could use wired to make it go a lot further out. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you build lots of good elevators. Okay, see ya.